Hey guys, it is another Thursday, which means another Thursday tip. Um, this week it's come from myself, um, which means another episode in the series of Amy Vlogs. So hopefully you all enjoy it. I'll be talking about motivation today because it's been something I've been lacking recently um, and just reasons as to why and how I've overcome it. Um, but before that, I'd like to point out two things. Um, I'm sorry for the sound quality on this phone. I think I dropped my phone in a puddle and I think I've blown the microphone so it's a bit fuzzy. And secondly, please do not mind the state of my hair at the minute. Um, it is the Christmas party on the 30th, which is next Saturday at 8pm. So I'm trying not to wash it as much so it looks good on the day. So everyone better sign up to it because I'll be very upset I've gone through all this effort for nothing. Um, so moving on swiftly, <laughs> this week I'm going to be talking about motivation. Um, it has been something I've struggled with recently. Just because I'll be turning up to three classes a week and I won't be turning up to any the next week. So I just want to give you reasons as to why and hopefully we can relate to some of them and how to overcome them. So my first one was I am a very impatient person. I expect to see results almost instantly and I've kind of had to sit down, have a chat with Shane and realise that this isn't a realistic thing or a realistic mindset to have. So I've had to take a step back. Uh, realize the benefits I've had in the few weeks they have been training and understand that these are going to be 10 times better six months down the line. I'm going to feel amazing, even better than I do now. And so I've had to realize that good things do come to those who wait. Um, so patience is key, especially when you're training. Um, my second reason, before I joined the classes, I was used to doing kind of my own training. I'd stick my headphones on, I'd go in the gym. I'd not bother looking at anyone. Um, so joining group classes here was a big, big difference for me. Um, so I had a fear, almost a fear of kind of joining in, which is the opposite of FOMO, fear of missing out. I had a fear of joining in. So what I did to overcome this, um, I didn't join a class straight away. Um, I kind of had a nosy in a couple of classes. And even after Tamara's classes, people were coming out with smiley faces. So... <laughs> Uh, I understood, you know, this isn't a scary thing. There may be 26 other people in the session, but no one here is going to judge me because we're all in the same boat. Um, further on to that, I did do a PT session before I did classes, so it was only four other people in that session. So I kind of built my way up into the classes. I first kind of had a look and saw what it was all about. Spoke to a lot of the clients because... You know, I'm very chatty, so I was talking to all of the clients, finding out what they liked about the classes, and gradually I became more confident. I was like, do you know what, this is something I want to do, this is how I'm going to join in. So I started off inquiring about it, did a PT session upstairs, and then joined a class. So if that's a route that uh, yourselves want to go, I would definitely recommend it. Um, talk to other clients about, you know, the PT options, if that's something you're interested in doing. Just get feedback from people who have done it that that would be my main my main uh kind of reason as to why i kind of overcame my fear just because i was talking to people i know i'm rambling but talking to people does help um my other one or my other reason sorry uh for lack of motivation is just because I set myself a goal and if it's not turning out the way I'd like I kind of lose motivation that way so when setting a goal um, when it's not going my way I look at my past achievements and 